The fortified walls of Baghdad's green zone used as a rifle stand to send bullets flying, the wounded being rushed to hospital. For these angry supporters of Shiite cleric Maqtada al-Sadr, it is Iraqi security forces and a rival militia that are to blame for the chaos and unrest that's rapidly descended on the Iraqi capital. I'm injured. My foot was injured yesterday. Why? We're only here to ask for a good life, to ask for schools for our children, access to health care. We want dignity. Imposing a curfew that's transformed Baghdad into a ghost town, the government says that it's al-Sadr and his supporters who have sparked the chaos, calling on them to withdraw immediately from government institutions. The unrest began just a day earlier, after al-Sadr announced his final withdrawal from politics via Twitter, encouraging his supporters to take Iraq's nearly year-long political deadlock into their own hands. Hundreds of his supporters forced their way through the presidential palace gates. But the posing for pictures and the joyous dips in the presidential pool quickly turned violent and deadly as al sadrs supporters clashed with security forces and rival militia. Unrest ensued across the country and now they are burying their dead.